Hello guys, nice to see you back again after watching my Win Winra tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm gonna tell you how to fix the problem that says side-by-side uh, -side configuration error or like uh, for bus simulator and many other t applications. I'll give you an example of what the problem exactly is. See, it is this. Please read it out. And unable to load game module. So, the solution for 64-bit processors is what I have listed out over here. For a 32-bit processor, all you gotta do is use these things. Oh, I, I've given the way to do it in the description down below for 64-bit processors and for 32-bit processors. Okay, so I've already downloaded all these files as they add up to a total of 33 MB and my net speed has been having some problems as you must might have heard in my Venra tutorial. Okay, so, uh, where the damn it is, yeah, it's here. Okay, so I'll, they are all listed serially. I mean, for 32 and 64 bit processors, you have to download all of them. It's not like just one of them. I mean, just for the 64 bit ones. You have to download both of them. Specifically, I say 32 bit and 64 bit. I've even written it over here. Please remember this. It's very important. Okay, so. Here it is, uh, the files that I have serially downloaded, they are like, this is, this file is this, this file is this. So, uh, let's get going. I'll install all of them and show you that it will work, surely work. I, I see actually, I actually see no reason why it shouldn't work, but just in case. So, actually I know my hearing my voice is going to be a bit of a bore to all of you so uh, may I entertain you with some music while I install all of these programs
uh, sorry guys to cut the music in between but there's some part of instruction over here so as uh, we can see me I guess we've installed all these things up to up till here so that's like uh, damn that's like this that's like doing all these steps so these two are remaining I've already downloaded the one compatible with 64x processors but it's a bit tricky at the website so I'll just sh I thought I might just show it to you okay so this page comes in Dutch for some reason you just need to go to scratch something something and change it to English and now go down and there you'll find VC Redist IA64.exe that's for some processor I don't know about okay so this the second option is for x64 bit x64 processors and the third option is for 32 bit processors so I've downloaded this file this file is what I've downloaded for 64 bit and the third file is for 32 bit processors and it's the same and is the same in this case too uh, is the same in this case too whatever this Prache which seal silin is turn it to English and now that this page is there so this is the second file is what I downloaded for 64 bit processors the sec third file is for 32 bit processors and the fourth uh, and the first file is for something I don't know about but if you have that type of processor and you know about it so please download that thing okay so let's go on sorry to cut the music back again and now as you can see it is said that it's recommended to make a new installation of the game and be sure that you have installed DirectX 9 okay so I'm not actually shown where the hell down uh, DirectX 9 is uh, www dot uh, sorry uh, dot file hippo dot com so now scroll down a bit and there you'll see in drive in the driver section you'll see DirectX 9.0C June 10. So you need to click here, you need to click it over here to download DirectX 9.0C or there's just no need of downloading it if you already have it. So I'll show I'll show you that I'll show you it completely with the steps. So there you go. Uh, but where is it? Yeah, so yeah. So dx setup uh, letter install and it's as you can see it's even said that it's recommended to make a new installation of the game so here we go uh, I, I feel like I want a bit of a privacy over here so I'm pausing the video, please don't mind. Ok 
Okay, so it started. Uh, it started installing, and uh, now enjoy the beat. Uh, I think you guys might get a bit bored if I, you know, keep this tutorial on while it's installing. So I'll just, I'll just like pause it and wait for the installation to finish, and then we'll continue. Don't keep me okay, so. Until I pay. okay, so hi there, back again, and this bus simulator has finished its setup. I'm waiting for DirectX to complete, so. Treating me like a fool. I got news for you. I'm turning my back. I'm dropping a bomb on you. You want me? You need me. Uh, sorry to stop the music, guys, again. But there you go. We're finished with it, and now I think you'll be able to play Bus Simulator or whatever application you. You can you will be able to use whatever application you wanted to use. So for just for to tell you show you the truth, I'll show this to you. And uh, guys, uh, remember I'm sorry that uh, bandy ba um, I've recorded it with Bandicam, which uh won't show you the game it will only show you the desktop so there's no act practically no use about it but i assure you that it's it will work in most processors and other cases where you might be a fool sorry to say but you might be a fool and you may not be able to install the thing so i guess you enjoyed the music and the tutorial and nice to see you nice to see that you watched it up to 15 minutes or rather skipped it up to 15 minutes so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe